Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, tomorrow is going to be a big day. Tomorrow is Tuesday, uh, the 30th of January, and at 9 p.m. President Trump is going to be making his first State of the Union address to the Union. And uh, most times in my life I have taken those uh, before I really got into politics and was bored out of my mind. Seriously, same old crap, same old crap. You know, the president comes out, yada, 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 you know, you know gives, gives your details on what's going to happen, what he wants, and then nothing ever happens for the people, right? Nothing ever changes, and that was because the oligarchy was in control of our government, okay? Now, I know not everyone shares this belief, and some people don't like Trump. They think he's doing a terrible job. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, there is a civil war going on and that President Trump is fighting the oligarchy and he is doing everything in his power to try and save America and humanity from the control of these really dark forces and evil people that have been in control of our planet for way too long now, okay? So what can we expect tomorrow uh, from President Trump at this State of the Union? Well, I'm told that the memo was sent to the president's office uh, sometime after 6 o'clock tonight. So this memo, once released, uh, which I'm going to imagine is going to happen sometime right before uh, Trump makes his speech. That way it gives time for reporters and people to put it out there, for people online like myself and you to... Uh, read it and share it really quickly, but it won't give time for the oligarchy to kind of hit back, okay? And, you know, the oligarchy, you know, they basically are the guys that print the money uh, from the Federal Reserve and all that to the mainstream media. So they can hit back fast and hard with lies and manipulation. So it's important that Trump gets this out there at the, with the right amount of time just enough to let all of us kind of see what's going on before they have a chance to defend himself. And then Trump comes out and gives a speech. So when we get the speech, I'm going to assume that it's going to include some of the basics of what's going to start catching the American people up to what's been going on behind the scenes. Uh, if you're just waking up, uh, it's really going to shock you. For those of us that are in depth, such as myself, and many others, uh, people that uh, study uh, David Icke and uh, realize uh, the non-terrestrial connections and just the nature of reality that we are taught one thing and is entirely different what our world and our reality really is. And we have been enslaved by the oligarchy. And that's what we need to come to understand and grips with. But what we're probably gonna get tomorrow as we start breaking out of this mold, breaking out of this shell that we've been uh, held in, we're going to hear um, <clears throat> that Hillary Clinton, Obama, and Comey uh, all use the United States government to create a false narrative about the Russia in Russian interference into the Trump campaign, trying to undermine his campaign, trying to do everything they could to keep President Trump, at the time uh, Citizen Trump, from getting into the White House and breaking the hold of the oligarchy on the White House. Hillary Clinton was supposed to win. It was supposed to be rigged for her. Bernie Sanders was supposed to be the fall guy for Hillary. Uh, and Hillary was then going to begin initiating uh, some of the oligarchy plans, including Agenda 21 and World War III, and passing the Trans-Pacific Partnership, enslaving Americans uh, to corporations, okay? So Trump just winning the election alone really saved countless lives. Ending World War III before it began, uh, from what I understand, some of his moves to reinstitute logging, keeping people out, you know, to create jobs out in... Uh, outer cities and stuff, and small towns, rather than packing the cities and towns full of people, which is what Agenda 21 wanted to do, making it easier to target the civilian population. Uh, 
the oligarchy had intended to knock down the population to the point where they could reassume control, complete control over the people. So I, I don't know if Trump's going to go into Agenda 21. I don't know uh, how in depth he's going to go. I would, you know, I'd love him to give everybody the whole kit and caboodle, but uh, I think that would shock um, people too much uh, for this first really go round at what is going to be a massive change in uh, policy, in our country, in the way we think, in the way the world is run. Uh, right now we're up to 1,300 indictments is what I'm seeing, uh, sealed indictments. And so not only is Hillary and Comey uh, going to be arrested, you're going to see sweeping changes across the country. Uh, I'm hoping Trump's going to come out with that. I'm hoping he's going to tell you that you know, the oligarchy is going to start getting again, picked up by the police, by the FBI. Um, hopefully at this point we've taken control back of the CIA and we're going to start taking down these really corrupt people that have benefited greatly from the suffering and misery of the 99% uh, to keep themselves in power and profit uh, for their masters. Uh, so those are the, for those that are take it to that next level, they understand that that has to do with non-terrestrials. And uh, I'm going to cut it there because I want you guys, we're going to focus on what Trump is going to say and what's going to happen tomorrow. So uh, if you have any questions, if you want to know what more to dig into, what more to start studying. I'm more than happy to help people. So uh, questions, comments below, please like and share this video. Thank you, everybody.